we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name hallelujah jesus oh yes you're welcome hallelujah into this place anybody welcome feel the presence of the lord this morning hallelujah welcome into this broken vessel you desire to abide with the praises of your people so we lift our hands as we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name hallelujah lord you're welcome you're welcome into this place hallelujah jesus lord welcome into your name lord you're welcome in this place you're welcome hallelujah to oh lord you're welcome have your way in this place lord welcome in tune is broken oh you desire you desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we Say it again. Welcome into this place. Welcome, welcome into this broken vessel. Into this broken vessel. You were voices to 
together as we worship the Lord and say, There is none like you. Lord, no one else can touch me quite the way you do. No one else can touch my heart like you do. You know when you've had those days where it just seemed like there was just so much I can, I can search, search for all and then we search and we find the Lord and we can say in his presence there is none like you come on it sounds so sweet let it be as a sweet smelling aroma in his nostrils there is none like you this is the way we express our adoration of who he is and letting him know how no worthy he is and what he means to us. The adoration of our heart. Let it speak. Let it flow freely. Hallelujah. As you worship the Lord on this morning. When you think about all the things that he has done. How he has provided. How he has kept the way that he has made. How he has healed. How he has answered prayer in the name of Jesus we know that there is none like him come on and worship the Lord if you mean it let him hear you say there is none like you no one else can touch my heart no one else, else can touch as those that are coming in continue to worship as they are coming in let us Continue to worship and set the atmosphere. I Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We worship you in this place. Oh, majesty. Hallelujah. There is none. There is none. Hallelujah. There is none. There is none. There is none. One more time. There is none. There Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So glad that we can search and we'll never find no one in comparison to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Aren't you happy? Aren't you glad about it? Hallelujah. Because when the troubles arise, we can run to the rock, the rock which is higher than I, hallelujah. We have a safety, we have a fortress, hallelujah, a hiding place in the Lord. So there's no one like the Lord. Who is like the Lord? No one. No one. Hallelujah. We welcome you into the place, into this place, into the house of God, where we are the Faith and Victory Deliverance Church of God located in Bayonne, New Jersey. We welcome you, everyone that is here in the sanctuary and those that are joining us this morning on our live social media platforms. We welcome you into the house of God. On this morning, if you would read with us our opening scripture on this morning, which is coming from Philippians 3, 7 through 14 after which we will then be led in prayer by our deaconess, Denise uh, Watson, amen. And the scripture coming from Philippians 3, 7 through 14 reads, but whatsoever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things, I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the, bias, on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and the participation in his suffering, becoming like him in his death, 
and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already attained all things or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord is blessed. Let us remain standing as our deaconess Watson leads us in prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. I don't think none of us are lost. I think we were found. Because one day we said, we'll go with you, Lord. And I just thank God that he's able to save me, set me free, and change my life. Come on into the fold. Let God do his thing. Put his holy hand on you and heal you, protect and guide you. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for each and every one that is here this morning. Lord, we thank you for those that are watching by Zoom, Facebook. But Lord, we thank you that they're able to see and hear the word. Lord God, reach out to those that are suffering today. Help us, Lord, with the wars that are going on. For we are really, really in trouble. Lord God, bless those that need help financially, health-wise, Father. Lord God, we're praying for those that have diabetes and hypertension. It's a serious thing, especially in the black community. Help our women today, God. Help them to stand strong continuously, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for faith and victory. I thank you for my bishop, Edward L. Purnell, my shepherd, Mother Leola Purnell. I thank you for co-pastor Deborah White and trustee Bernie. Oh, yes, I thank you for the designated pastor of Juan Morrison and Lady Melissa Morrison. Do a new thing in here, God. Stir up the gifts that are in here. Let us stand tall for you, Father, because these are the days. These are the times and the hour that we must stand forth for you and not be ashamed. Let us not be ashamed, Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh, Father, for you are the glory, the honor, and the power. It all belongs to you. He's in control, saints. He has everything in his hand. The whole world is in his hands. Lord God, protect our youth. Protect our babies, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Protect our youth, our young adults, those that are in college, those that are in high school, in public. Oh, Lord, help them right now. Bless each mother that has a task before them, that they be stand strong with you and know that it is you who will help them make it through. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray that the situation that is in the Middle East, that is going on with Israel, that it cease and desist. But you know, God, you have all the answers. You said hi, but you look low. And Lord, we just said thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
bless each and every one once again, Father. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Oh, anoint the fresh in here, God. Come on in, you're welcome. Because we love you, Lord. We love you more than we've ever, ever loved anyone else. Because you are our first love. You have helped us, guided us, protected us. Oh, you said, F my people who are called by my name would humble themselves. Lord, we need humbling now. We need it more than we've ever needed it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, have your way today in the service. Stir up, put the fire in us, Lord. Oh, let somebody catch on fire. Oh, we thank you this morning. And we just say thank you once again, Lord God. Thank you for being our provider. Our Jehovah Rapha. Our Jehovah Nisi. Our Jehovah Siskinu. Lord, I thank you. And Lord, any name that I've forgotten, not thinking, not robbery. But Lord, bless them in a special way. Our Elder Williams. Our Pastor Wheeler. Yeah, yeah. Our Elder Bowman. Lord, bless their wives. Yes. Protect them going out and coming in. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless our elder porch. We thank you, Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we Amen. pray. In Jesus' name. We count it all joy. We decree and declare it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen.
higher, higher. Hallelujah. Let's lift Jesus higher. Hallelujah. As we go throughout the worship, let's lift him higher. Hallelujah. In the way of announcements on today, there is quite a bit that we must attend to. So let us adhere to the announcements on this morning and everything that is taking place. This morning, there is a general church meeting in person and it will begin immediately following the morning service. So please remain seated. Today also in person after after the general church meeting is Sunday school, which is also in person. Uh, after the church meeting, the locations, here's where we will need to be attentive to here. The primaries in junior way will be to the right side downstairs. The teens, small room in the sanctuary in the back young adults small room downstairs and the adults will be in the sanctuary so you have designated adults will have sunday school tomorrow i am being corrected the announcements are being corrected so please adults 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 sunday school is tomorrow and it will be online online via zoom amen our prayer line is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. The church administration and trustee ministry is in charge on this week. April, the prayer theme is putting Jesus first, following the instruction to be good disciples. The scripture, focal scripture comes from John 15 and eight, which reads, this is my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Let us remember to keep our elder porch and family and the Hayden family in your prayers during their time of bereavement. Our upcoming events today, April 14th, there are two outgoing, well, there's an outgoing appointment to Grace Christian Church. It's their Women's Day at 3.30 p.m. And the preacher is Apostle Teresa Speaks and igniting a new consciousness at Bluecraft Hall also today at 3.30 p.m. led by our minister, led by Minister Robin Jamison. It's a women, it's women of faith and victory. Please support each of these events. If we can, if we can. So there are two events, one at Grace Christian at 3.30. It's their Women's Day service. And the guest preacher is Apostle Teresa Speaks. And this afternoon at Bluecraft Hall, igniting a new consciousness, which is led um, by Minister Robin Jamison. And we're, they're asking and have invited the women of faith and victory if you are available. Pastoral installation service of Elder Aquan Morrison will be Sunday, April 28th. The morning service will be at 11 a.m. in person and the service will begin promptly at 11 a.m. and the installation service will be at 3 p.m. We are prepared for the celebration occasion. We are excited to share that there will be a special five day prayer and fast from April 22nd through April 26th. We are asking everyone to join in and partake in the time of prayer and fasting as we welcome our new senior pastor. Information will be passed out by the ushers after morning service and sent out this week. So please let us be mindful and let us make all of those notes so that we are aware of our obligations and services. May 12, 2024 is Mother's Day. We have a guest preacher, our el elder Jacqueline Simpson. On May 19th is our past Pentecost Sunday. June 9th is National Children's Sunday. June 30th is Youth and Young Adult Sunday. We will be celebrating our 2024 graduates. Now, if our trustees are ready, our ways to give. Okay, okay. Uh, if anyone needs an envelope or anything, if anyone is uh, 
presenting and bringing their offerings in person. If you need an envelope, please raise your hand so that the ushers may um, provide one to you at this time. Um, we will be receiving our tithes and offering and the ways to give which are displayed on our screen is cash app dollar sign faith and victory to venmo at sign faith dash victory or you can mail your offerings in at 118 lord avenue here in bayo new jersey let us be a blessing to god's house amen amen april birthday shout outs amen april 14th today is our brother michael welch's birthday april 19th is our sister erica george april 25th is our sister karen sullivan <laughs> and before then april 22nd is our sister jamila morrison and april 30th is our brother chris richardson and matthew winter amen amen if you have not already seen the ushers, if you are prepared to uh, give your offering in person, you may do so. At this time, we're going to ask for the praise and worship ensemble to come so that we may lift our voices unto the Lord in worship. Amen. After the praise and worship ensemble, we will be at the hands of our elder Deborah White on this morning who will be bringing the word. Let us pray for our elder white on this morning as she delivers God's word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. Can we give God praise today? We give God all the glory. Come on, let's just give him another sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Our voices giving thanks to the Lord. Our voices praising him. Hallelujah. We bless him today. Lord, we praise you for the great things you have done. You told us to praise you for your excellent greatness. To praise you according to your mighty acts. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just give him thanks today. Hallelujah. Do you thank him? Do you have anything to thank him for? If you have something to thank him for, come on, just wave your hand with us. Amen. I have so much to thank God for. Hallelujah. And we're going to sing, oh, give thanks. Oh, Lord, we praise you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elder, I want to start a little low if you don't mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we bless you. Come on, y'all. You know this song. Come and sing with us. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We praise you. Oh, Lord. We praise you. Oh, Lord. We praise you. Oh, Lord. Come on, let's sing it again.
lift your mouth. Do you praise God for being here today? Do you thank him for being here today? Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody is in their bed of languishing. Hallelujah. Somebody is in a depressed state. Hallelujah. But we are here today. We're here to give him the glory. Hallelujah. We give you all the honor, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. These are the days of Elijah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're acknowledging God in all his greatness. Amen. Amen. The song says, Behold, he comes riding on a cloud. Are you looking for that day? Hallelujah. We're looking for that day. Amen. Say with me, that day. That day. Hallelujah. That's our goal. Amen. That's our destination. Hallelujah. To see him coming back for us. Hallelujah. Amen. And in that place, there will be no more suffering. There will be no feelings of loneliness. There will be no cares. Hallelujah. Because he'll wipe our cares away. Hallelujah. He'll wipe our sadness away. He'll wipe our hurt away. He'll wipe our pain away. Amen. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. Come on. Let's give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Let's give a good clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. And a good sway for Jesus. Amen. However you want to do it. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. 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 Everybody just clap your hands and say, Oh. Oh. days of Elijah declaring the word of the Lord and these are the days of your servant Moses righteousness being restored and these are the days of great trial of famine and darkness and sword we are the voice in the desert crying, declare ye the way of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on a cloud, shining like the sun. And the trumpet, and the trumpet, lift your voice. Lift your voice. The year of Jubilee. The year of Jubilee. Out of Zion's hill. And these come. are the days of Ezekiel. The dry bones becoming as flesh. And these are the days of your servant David rebuilding the temple of praise. Oh, these are the days of Ezekiel, of the harvest, the fields are as wide in your world. And we are the laborers, the laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word. The trumpets call, the trumpets lift, call. Lift, lift your voice, it's the year of Jubilee, out of Zion's hill, hallelujah, oh, behold, oh, riding on the cloud, shining like the sun, at the trumpets call, lift, 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 lift your voice, it's the year of Jubilee, out of Zion's hill, there's no God like Jehovah. Yeah. There's no God like Jehovah. Say it again. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Yeah, yeah. There's no God like Jehovah. On, There's yeah. nobody like Jehovah. No, 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 no. There's nobody. There's no God like Jehovah. Nobody. There's no God. Come on, let's not quite nobody. There's no God like Come on, let's whisper it. There's no God like Jehovah. Come on, 
a little bit louder. Just a little bit louder now. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 Oh yeah. Come on, let's sing it to the rafters. choir again amen hallelujah hallelujah come on sing with me hallelujah 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 come on all the tenors in the house raise your hand come on if you have a deeper voice come on raise your hand hallelujah thank you lord come on tenors sing with me there's no god like jehovah there's no God like Jehovah. 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 Come on, one more time, Tina, sing. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Come on, sing it for the Lord. He loves to hear your voice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, everybody. Give the tenors a hand. Yeah. We praise you, Lord. Thank God for the tenors. Hallelujah. Come on. Anybody at Alto in here? We got Altos. Come on, raise your hand, Altos. Amen. Hallelujah. Most of us are Altos. Yeah, come on, and you sing. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 Come on, sing it again. Come on, Alto. There's no God like Jehovah. All the Altos. There's no God like Jehovah. Come on, come on. There's no God like Jehovah. Oh, yes, Lord.
the trumpets call. Let the trumpets call. Hear your, your voice. Hear your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. Not of Zion's Hill. One more time. Behold he comes. Behold he comes. Riding on the cloud. Shining like the sun. At the trumpets call. Let the trumpets call. Lift your lips. Hear your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. your mouth and give him praise. Hallelujah. Jesus, we praise you. Come on, tell him how great he is. Tell him how great he is. Tell him how great he is. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless him because there's nobody like him. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. No God like Jehovah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I hear the word call him Jehovah Nisi. God, our refuge and our banner. Just like he got it, the children of Israel, as they were wandering after leaving Egypt, he guides us today, but we're not wandering. We're on our way to glory. And Jehovah Nisi is our banner. And all you got to do is follow the banner. All you got to do is follow the banner. And he'll guide you into eternity with him. Come on, bless him. The one who gives us refuge in the bosom of his glory, of his love. Hallelujah, the one who gives us refuge and salvation, uh, guiding us, uh, leading us uh, until we make it to live with him eternally. Salvation's coming. Salvation's coming. Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Come on, bless him for the salvation that's here, the salvation that's coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One of these days, the Spirit of the Lord is going to descend from heaven with a shout. Those that are in the graves are going to get up, and we that remain are going to be caught up. Come on and bless Him for your salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There's no God like Jehovah God. No God. No God, no God, no God with a little G. <laughs> My God's the big G. Come on, bless him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know where they get all these little gods from. My Bible says, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. That means he was, he is, and forever. He will be. Thank you, Lord. Come on, bless him. All right, let me hush and read the scripture because we got a preacher. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. But when I think of Jehovah, my God, there's nobody like him. Can't nobody do me like him. Tried alcohol and it couldn't do me like God did me. Tried partying and it couldn't do me like God does me. There's no God like Jehovah. Bless you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Send up one more praise. One more, one more, one more. Hallelujah. No God. Like Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. While you're standing, and if you're not standing, we do ask that out of reverence of the word of the Lord that you stand. 
with us as we read the scripture coming from Matthew 6 beginning at verse 5 and going all the way through verse 13 maybe a familiar passage to some and if it's not a familiar passage to you get familiar with it amen Praise the name of Jesus. Matthew 6, beginning at verse 5. And the word of the Lord says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues, in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly but when ye pray use not vain repetitions repetitions as the heathen do for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking be not ye therefore like unto them for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen please remain standing amen as you hear from our co-pastor elder deborah white let us pray eternal god our father Hallelujah. you are the holy one yes. you are the only wise true and the living god the faithful god the prayer answering god the covenant keeping god we look to you this morning because you are the author and the finisher of our faith we stand this morning in your power and in your strength on the authority of your word yeah. that you are who you say you are and you can do what you say you will do yeah. we decrease that you might increase yeah. our prayer this morning is that the hearts of your people will be open to receive this gospel and we thank you god that our eyes are open that we have not been blinded by the evil one that our ears are open that we can hear what the spirit will say unto us today be glorified in this house be magnified in the hearts of your people the word lord shall not return unto you void but it will accomplish the aim wherewith you have sent it and we thank you in jesus name amen you may be seated, praise God, as we honor the Lord this morning. We praise God for our overseer, our bishop, our good, good father, Elder Edward L. Purnell, the elect lady, our shepherd mother, Leola Purnell, for our pastor designate, praise God, Aquan Morrison, Lady Morrison, for all of God's ministering servants, you and you and you and you, to God be the glory. And we thank him for this opportunity that he has afforded us to be in the house of prayer this morning. Now we prayed, we sang, we've danced, praise God, and now we're going to hear the word of God. And we ain't in no rush. If you got somewhere to go, maybe you ought to hold your hand up and tip your way out now but we want to hear what the spirit is saying to the church praise god we thank god because he's an awesome god and he has a sense of humor i spent all week meditating on the word and i was asking god what do you want for your people what do you want for your people and praise god i've, I've meditated on can you get a prayer through for your pastor yeah. i was meditating on give honor to whom honor is due uh -huh. then i went to give him his flowers while he is, is living but that ain't where god took me uh -huh. praise god yesterday praise god we attended the home going of george porch in the brother of our elder Martha Porch and the preacher preached, praise God. 
and listening to the eulogy that his daughter gave, yes. it was awesome. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And my husband was saying to me, he said, Debbie, now see, that's the way a funeral's supposed to be. <laughs> so to God be the glory. Hallelujah. It was a celebration yes. of life. Yes. So we thank God for this opportunity that we have to be in the house of prayer this morning. I praise God for each and every one that is watching on Zoom or Facebook. Praise God. We know that God is with us. And we thank him this morning that he is with us and that his goodness and mercy follows us. Praise God. They say they have a marathon going on in Jersey City. So the traffic may have hindered some of you, but I believe some of you probably just overslept and was running a little late. Praise God. I didn't get to bed till probably four o'clock and I was really sleeping good. And then there was a cramp in this leg that made me jump up out of bed. But to God be the glory, I'm here this morning. And I'm walking, praise God. So I praise God for all that he is doing, praise God, in this season. Yes, yes. So here we are in the Gospel of Matthew. Uh-huh. And praise God, we spent a lot of time in the Gospels over these past few weeks celebrating uh, on Good Friday and the resurrection, uh-huh. praise God. And we're moving to Pentecost. Yes, yes. So we praise God for his word. For the Bible is the indestructible, ever-living seed of the word of God. And it cannot fail. It will not not fail. That's right. Praise God. For in the word of God, we have a hiding place. Forever his word is settled in heaven. Praise God. So we thank him for his word. The purpose for which Matthew is writing praise God, this gospel, is to prove that Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed and the promised eternal king, the king of kings. His birth, Mm -hmm. his life and teaching, Mm -hmm. his miracles, Mm -hmm. and his triumph over death Mm -hmm. show his true identity. Mm -hmm. He cannot be equated with any other person or power. So somebody ought to tell 45 that he ain't like Jesus. Praise God, that he shouldn't get it twisted. Praise God. God, yeah, fast to say he twisted. Um, He is the supreme ruler of time and eternity of heaven and earth, of humans and angels. Read the book of Hebrews. He tells you that he is better than. We have to give him his rightful place as the king of our lives. So here in this particular portion of text, Jesus is teaching about prayer. Uh He saw through the self-righteous acts of the religious leaders, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Woodducees, and the Kudducees. He realized that their motives were impure. And Jesus saw this and began to teach that the true essence of prayer is not our public style, but our private communication with God. The scripture says that it's in the closet. Uh Praise God. So Jesus prayed both publicly and privately, but he was drawing attention to the fact that prayer is a matter of the heart. Because the Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. That's why we pray Psalms 19 and 14. Let the words of my and the meditations of my, help me out here, in thy sight. Praise God, praise God. So it is your private communication 
how you spend time with God when nobody else is listening, uh -huh. when nobody else is around. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. What is being, what you're talking to God about in secret? Yeah. Because the secret things belong to God. Yeah, yeah. And those things which are revealed belong to us mm -hmm. and to our children. So he's saying, don't be no hypocrite. What is your motive yeah. when you're going to God? Mother Cherry makes no difference. Yeah, well, what the problem? I can, I can go, go to God in prayer. God. Praise God. It's not how you sound mm -hmm. for other people. Uh -huh. We can never pray too much mm. if our prayers are honest and sincere. Mm. Men ought always to pray and not to faint and when you pray you ought to keep your mind and heart on god make sure when you're praying you mean what you say praise god for god knows the thoughts the intents and the desires of the heart and we know the heart can be deceitful and desperately wicked. Yeah, yeah. This prayer is called the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave it to his disciples mm -hmm. as a model for us to follow and to use as we pray. Mm -hmm. In this prayer, it shows that we have a relationship with our Father. It is a prayer that allows us to adore him, give him glory, yes. magnify him, exalt him, honor him because of who he is. In this prayer, we can confess our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. Praise God, because if we don't forgive men, their trespasses uh -huh. our heavenly father will not forgive us if i regard iniquity in my heart yeah, yeah. the father will not hear my prayer it is a time of giving thanks to god it is a time for showing him just how much we appreciate all that he has done what he's doing right now and what he's going to do and it is a time to tell him how much we thank him that he's given us the victory over sin and the victory over temptation and then we can ask him for his help how many of you want god's help today how many of you know you need god's help how many of you know you can't make it without God's help? He is the source from whom all blessings flow. I told you God has a sense of humor. So the first line teaches us to honor and acknowledge God and to keep his name holy. We honor God's name by using it respectfully and not in vain. Mm. respectfully and not in vain the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and is safe so jesus is saying praise god for who he is praise god for what he has done and in the process of praising him, realize the benefits of the agreement and the covenant he has made with you. Hallelujah. So what does the praise team see? Mm. There's no God, no God. like Jehovah. Yes, Who is Jehovah? Mm -hmm. He's the covenant keeping yes, God. He yes, He's he the prayer answering God. Yes, he He's the God that when he can swear by no other, he swears by himself. What are the five benefits of the new covenant 
that we have with Jehovah. The first benefit is the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. His name is Sit Canoe. Yeah. Notice the T is silent. Yeah. He's the Lord our righteousness. Yeah. His name is Makadesh. Yeah. He's the Lord our sanctifier. Because yeah. there's no God like Jehovah. And the next benefit is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Ah. Who is this Jehovah in terms of the Holy Spirit? He's Jehovah Shalom, our God of peace. See, I told you God has a sense of humor, see? He's Jehovah, praise God, Shema, the God who is here, there, and everywhere present at the same time. We have soundness, health and healing, because he said, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So we have his name as Jehovah Rophi, the Lord that heals all wounds and all diseases. And whatever classification of disease it is, he's the healer, he's the great physician, he's the bomb in Gilead. And he will restore health unto us. The next benefit he provides is soundness. We have freedom from the curse of the law. And because of that, praise God, I'm sorry, success. We have freedom from the curse of the law mm -hmm. and from the curse of death yes. and hell. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So he's Jehovah Jireh, yes. my provider. I have security because he's Jehovah Nisi, yes. a banner yes. for the children of Israel. Uh -huh. He was a cloud by day yes. and a fire by night. But for us, he's a banner of love yes, over us. Yes. Praise God. He's our covering. Yes, Lord, yes. And then, praise God, because we have these five benefits, we can say, your kingdom come, yes, your will be done. Yes. Larry Lee wrote a book, and the title of that book is, Could You Not Tarry mm. One Hour? One hour. And he said, if you really prayed this prayer like you should pray it, it would take you an hour or more. Because when you pray your kingdom come, your will be done, you're praying for yourself, you're praying for your family, you're praying for your church, you're praying for the nation, and you're praying for the peace of Jerusalem. I've heard a lot of talk about Israel is wrong. And Israel is slaughtering millions or thousands of people trying to get Hamas. But we are commanded in the word to pray. And not only for the peace of Israel, but for the peace of America, oh, yeah. for the peace of the nation. Yes. The, the Bible says that uh, these are wars and rumors of wars. Yes. So what happened? Iraq attacked yeah. Israel. Iran, Iran. Iran. Iran attacked yes. Israel. Uh -huh. I tell you what, <laughs> they may attack Israel. Yes but I don't think they will even try to attack America. Praise God. So we gotta pray. We gotta pray that these wars and rumors of wars as our deaconess prayed in her opening prayer, that they will cease and desist. Praise God, it seems like the world is spiraling out of control. What's happening? The Bible says in the last days, perilous times will come. 
Men's hearts are failing from the fear of what is to come. The love of many has waxed cold. And we see it every day because there seems to be a killing rage in the land. You will kill babies with no remorse or no regret. You'll attack a woman going up the stairs on her way into the sanctuary with no remorse and no regret. But we have to be praying. We have to be praying because there's a lot of sickness in the land. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of hostility. Grief, praise God, is all over the land. Hypocrisy. How many of you know that God's eyes are in every place? He beholds what is evil and he beholds what is good. Hear me now, there's nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. He will expose all evil works of darkness, whether they're in the government, in the school, in the church, wherever they are. Praise God, God will expose it and he will destroy it. Praise God. So here we are in this text. My subject, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come is an appeal. It is an appeal for God's presence. Come with us, Lord. Walk with us as we face the trials and the burdens of our days. Talk with us, be with us, so we don't feel alone, forsaken, or forgotten. But the appeal is much greater than that, much greater than just a request for God's presence. It is a petition for God to take control, to make the earth his jurisdiction in the same way that he has made heaven his home. Psalms 24 and 1, the earth is the Lord's. Come on, help me out now. The fullness thereof, the world and they. First, it's his kingdom because it has laws that govern it. It has all the moral precepts of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Second, it's his kingdom because it has subjects. And its subjects are all those who believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm a believer. Praise God. Are you a believer? Third, it's a kingdom because it has a king, the absolute king, the divine king, the sovereign king, king of kings and lord of lords, the reigning and ruling monarch of the universe. When we say thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, What we're really asking God to do is to accomplish his perfect purpose in the world, now and forever. We're asking God to magnify his presence. The only way that we can accomplish God's will is that we accept the gospel. Romans 1 and 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Not only do we accept it, we got to live it. Live it in faithfulness and live it in obedience. And then we got to spread it. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come. We've overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I have a testimony. What about you? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It is the expansion of God's presence 
that something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. But we need a new direction. We need a new way of thinking. Praise God. Remember my sermon on New Year's Eve? Divine what? Starts with an R. Reset. Realign us, God. Reboot us, God. Reconfigure us, God. Lord, make me over. Make me over again. Divine reset. Praise God. So that my focus is on you. My focus is on your purpose. My focus is on your will. Seek ye first and his and all these things shall what? We are looking for things to return to normal, to go back to the way it used to be. Guess what? It ain't happening. Praise God. God is letting us know, forget the former things. I will do a new thing. Praise God. So we ain't going back to normal. Don't waste your time and your focus, but refocus focus your faith yesterday pastor kelly preached a strong finish and i thought about that thing all throughout the day but in order to have a strong finish you got to have strong faith faith to believe that god has all power faith to believe that with god all things are possible Faith, whether it's mustard seed, whether it's mountain moving, faith is faith. So I'm gonna leave you with three points Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna sit down. Mm -hmm. My first point, thy kingdom come, thy will be done is for us to realize, number one, we need to resurrect Mm. our reliance on God. The Bible says that he is a rewarder of them that what? Diligently seek him. You know, we sing those songs, I'm chasing after you. Praise him. No matter what I have to do. Go ahead, what's the rest? I need you more and more. Praise God. But are you chasing after him? Are you totally relying on him? Are you depending on him? The saints say, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, and just to know, thus saith the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you, how I prove you are in order. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust you more. But I believe we've become so weak, so doubtful, so worried, so discouraged that praise God, we don't just need to be resurrected. We need to be resuscitated. We so caught up with the losses we've suffered. Praise God, but we're not focused on the benefits that God has provided us. Isaiah 41 and 10, fear thou not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed, I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, I will, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So he's not only going before us as a consuming fire, not only is his glory our rear God, he's always got our back. All I can tell you is that the God that I serve is a miracle working God. And the God that I serve has a good track record. He's always in control. The Bible says that he is the immutable God. He is the Lord and he changes not. The Bible says that he is the eternal God. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. 
if he can deliver Moses and the children of Israel after been in slavery for 400 years, if he can deliver Joseph and his family from famine, Daniel from the lion's den, the Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace, deliver David from Saul, deliver you and deliver me. Praise God. There's nothing impossible with him. Hezekiah Walker sang the song. Remember when they attacked the world trade? Yeah. Praise God. And he, he said, tell bin Laden, uh -huh. we made it. Uh -huh. We made it. Yeah. We yeah. survived. Yeah. When the enemy came in to threaten our lives, mm. God lifted a standard yeah. 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 of divine protection that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So let's stand in unity. Praise God. In liberty, let's walk in unity and let's pray continually. We've tried our best to wear out the scripture. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the with all thine and lean not in all thy ways. And he will do what? But what happens when the trials come? When the tests come? When your back is against the wall? When it looks like life is over? When it looks like you're not going to make it? Always remember that our past victories should be at the very should at the very least be sufficient to fuel us to trust in God, to know that He has all power and that He can do all things. So that's the first thing. Resurrect your reliance on God. The second point is we need to persist in our personal prayer. I think I told you about my t-shirt somebody sent me in the mail. Pray on it, pray over it, and pray through it. The Bible says we ought always to and not to praise God. Whatsoever things we desire when we pray, we got to believe that we receive them and we shall have them. If you want to summon the full power of God to take over your life, it's going to take some serious, heartfelt, thought-provoking prayer. Yeah. There are many instances in the Bible where um, prayer was made, praise God. But one stands out in terms of this sermon the parable of the unjust judge in Luke 18, one through eight. Jesus used this parable to emphasize that we ought always pray and don't give up and don't lose heart. God will bring about justice. And as we persist in prayer, we grow in faith. We grow in character. We grow in hope. Persistent prayer will keep us in constant communication with God. Jesus is saying, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. His prayer instructions are recorded throughout the gospels. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed so intensely that his sweat was like drops of blood. And three times he goes to his homeboys, his crew, the ones who walked with him and talked with him, who yeah. saw his miracle. And he says, could you not pray one hour? I've told you what's going to happen to me. Uh -huh. You know what's going to happen to me. Uh -huh. 
And you mean to tell me you can't intercede for one hour? Somebody said things that make you go. Country Wayne said, let that sizzle in your spirit. <laughs> Praise God. We've got to move. Praise God. The spirit moves us into action. Praise God. That's my third point. We've got to allow God's spirit to move us into action. For he is the spirit of truth. Praise God. We've got to move move in the direction he would have us to go, do what he would have us to do, say what he would have us to say. Faith requires action. Our faith doesn't just need to show up, it needs to show out. God's love should be in every word that we speak, every thought that we think, every deed that we perform, every choice that we make every prayer that we pray, every place we go, every moment we live. He knows our past, yes. he knows our present, and he knows our future. Yes. He knows the plans that he has for us. Yes. He knows the purpose that he has for our life. So today I implore you, take a faith inventory. Yes. New Year's Eve, uh -huh. El Reverend Doctor said, let a man uh -huh. examine himself. Yes. Take a faith inventory uh -huh. and yes. commit to improving your walk with God. Yes, New Year's Eve, Elder Martha Betty Ann Porch uh -huh. said, I'm journeying on with Jesus uh -huh. by myself because the race isn't given to the swift. Yeah. Neither the battle to the strong, uh -huh. but to him that endure to the end. So as I take this faith inventory, now is the time to study the scriptures. Now is the time to develop your compassion towards others. Now is the time to personalize your testimony. Now is the time to fulfill your vows and your pledge, um, pledges to God. Life is about service. Life is about sacrifice. Get out of your comfort zone. Go above and beyond. Praise God. Make a commitment to your commitment. Now is the time to polish your praise. When the praises go up, yeah. the blessings come down. Yeah. With my hands lifted up, mm -hmm. with my mouth filled with praise, yeah. with a heart of thanksgiving, yeah. I will bless yeah. thee, O oh Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now is the time to develop some godly character yeah. for the fruit of the spirit yeah. is love, yeah. is joy, is peace, is long suffering, it's gentleness, it's goodness. Praise God. Do you possess godly character? Praise God, because Jesus came to show us the Father. And he came to reveal God's character, to acquire a humble spirit. For if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, in due season, what will he do? He will exalt you to demonstrate the loving attitude of the Father, because love will cover a multitude of sins and perfect love will cast out all fear. Years ago, when Elder Raleigh was with Faith and Victory and we were preparing for a choir anniversary, he made a song, Have a Little Faith, and we, it would be the call and response. We would say, have a little faith. He would say, if you want the victory, how can we proclaim that we the faith and victory deliverance church of God and we don't have no power? We're the faith and victory deliverance church of God and we're not walking in the spirit. 
We're the faith and victory deliverance church of God and we're not walking in the light as he is in the light and letting our light so shine. To walk in the spirit is to obey the prompting of the spirit. But we got to stay yielded. We got to stay submitted. We must say yes. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you. See, some of y'all just singing because you like the sound. But do you sing because you really mean it in your heart? I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me with my heart, I'll agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Do you have a yes for the Lord today? Hallelujah. God's will is what I want for my life. He speaks to us in the stillness of our heart with a word of conviction or a word of assurance. The Holy Spirit will convict us of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. When the Holy Spirit is directing us away from something harmful, we have a checker on the inside. We have an unction. There's a heaviness. There's a feeling of trouble. There's uneasiness in our spirit. And I thought about our bishop when he was in Vietnam. And you said that there were some places you all would be. And the hairs would stand up on your arm. And you would know something ain't right. And you would tell them, let's go and let's go now. And soon as they would leave that place, it would be destroyed because that's what the Holy Spirit does for us. Praise God. And when he's directing us toward helpful things and good things, there's a deep inner peace within us. There's a joy. There's an eagerness to see what God would have us to do. You know that you are yielded to the Holy Spirit. This is very important. When you say to God, Lord, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. I know you can do it. I'm waiting on you. And God says to you, that ain't what I want. And this is not the time for it. Mm -hmm. So we have the Holy Spirit working in us to withstand troubles, Mm -hmm. to solve our problems, Mm -hmm. to help us confront our enemies Mm -hmm. because we wear the armor of God to help us bear our burdens because his yoke is easy and his burdens are light, to help us resist temptation because the Bible says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, to help us endure our trials because we know that the trial of our faith is much more precious than of gold. And though it be tried with fire, it'll be found unto praise and glory and honor at the appearance of Jesus Christ. And with the Holy Spirit working in us, through us, abiding in us, we can perform the ministry that God has called us to. Romans 8 and 28, we know it is a familiar scripture, but if all things work together for good Mm -hmm. let the good show in all the work that you do he does it according to the power that works in us if you don't believe me read it to yourself in ephesians 3 and 20. Uh our life in christ requires submission obedience and faithfulness because the god that we serve can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Will God's will be done in your life today? Is your answer yes, Lord, yes. 
Will God use you to accomplish his will? Will God use your faith to dissolve others' doubts? Will God use you to dry somebody else's tears? Will God use you to supply somebody else's needs? Will God use you to enrich and encourage and strengthen somebody else's life? The power of the gospel is in you. Yes. Promote it and publish it. Yes. Preach it and proclaim it. Yes. Present it and perpetuate it. Because thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Before we make our appeal, the administration team has asked us the week leading up to our pastoral installation to pray. Yes, yes. And I want to say this to you. Let nothing separate us from the love of God. Mm -hmm. If you say you can't pray because you're busy, then you're really too busy. Yes, Check yourself yes, before you wreck yourself. First oh, Samuel 15 and 23. When Samuel prayed, Praise God. This is what he said to Saul. For rebellion, nope. this is a warning, is as the sin of witchcraft. Yeah. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. he has also rejected you from being king. That's what he told Saul. And that's why God ordained David to become the king. Genesis 11 and 6. They were building the Tower of Babel because of their arrogance and because of their pride. They thought they could be like God. And they thought that this tower would take them up to heaven. But this is what God said. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do? What? My word. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Where two or three or gather together in God's name, he is in the midst. Two are better than one. A three chord strand is not easily broken. So when I hook up with you, you hook up with you, you hook up with you, we're on one accord, we have the same love, we have the same mind, there is nothing that we imagine that God won't do. So we're obligated to pray. A praying church has power. There's power in praying together. Corporate prayer edifies us and unifies us as we share our faith and our hearts are knit together in a bond of fellowship. It is what creates sincere intercession. Corporate prayer is praying together yes. as the body of Christ, that we've come into agreement, that we are cooperating with God to bring about his plan. Mm. The man of God is going to have to carry a heavy load. Yes. Yes. He's not only required to love us, to serve us, to be an example to us, mm -hmm. to lead us, and to equip us. But it's only God that can lighten that heavy load. So I implore you, I beg of you, participate in this prayer during the week leading up to the installation. And then after the installation is over, I want us to go back to the 30 days of praying for our church and our pastor. 
We did it before. Yes. We've seen God do great things. Yes. And he can do it again. Let us all stand. Yeah. I love you Hallelujah. with the love of the Lord. Yes. Yes. I praise God for you. I thank God for you. I'm going to ask our bishop and overseer if he will come and give the invitation. And after that, I'm going to ask our Elder Martha Porch if she will pray. For those of you that have general concerns and special requests, knowing that God can do the impossible. Yes, yes. The word says, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. So let us praise God. Think about where you're going to spend eternity. Will you be ready when Jesus comes? When you're, the role is called, is your name written in the book of life? How much do you want God's will to be done in your life? God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You've heard the word. You've heard the word. It's more than just hearers. But we want to be doers. But you really can't do what you need to do without the love and the power of God. God sent his son into the world to seek and to save those who were lost. You said, well, if not me, I'm not lost. I'm with my family, I'm with my friends. But if you haven't accepted his son in the pardon of your sin, you are lost from the eternal life. I come this morning to tell you that he said, I come that you might have a life and that more abundant. Not because that you'll be powerful and get a name or a office, but you will love and know the real God. Hear him say, not the little gods, but the God, the true God, who came that we might have eternal life. This morning, you that are here and don't know Christ in the pardon of sin, that means you haven't accepted him. And you can't accept him except you believe in him. But if you confess, that's what the word says. If you confess that you are a sinner in need of a savior, hallelujah, and you believe that he, that God raised him from the dead, that he died, but God raised him from the dead. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen, and you confess that this morning. I believe that I want a savior I want you as my savior in my life. Come in, Lord. Come and wash me whiter than snow. If that would be your request this morning, why don't you just amen? Come to the front and say, Lord, I want you in my life. I believe that you and it died for me. But I believe that it rose again with all power in his hand. And I need the power that I can resist. The things that have been going on in my life and the sins that I've committed. And the thing is, he said, if you be ashamed to own him, 
before men, he would be ashamed to own you before his father. Oh, we wouldn't want that. If you're here this morning and you know you need salvation, not religion. Religion is in it that you do re regularly. Religiously, I wash my car. Religiously, I do this. No, salvation separates that. Hallelujah. That means the input of the Holy Spirit down in your heart. Are you here this morning and don't know him? Come right now. Get to know him. We will pray with you, praise the Lord. And believe with you, amen. Because all things are possible unto him that believe it. Are you here this morning? Are you here this morning? Don't be ashamed. Maybe you just need a closer walk. Maybe that you, you're saved. Amen. But there's some things going on in your life. You don't feel that moving of the Holy Spirit like you used to. Hallelujah. If you're here this morning, come now. We don't want to go half cocked. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it don't mean nothing until you really confess and believe and accept him as your savior well we made the call as we will do often it's up to you now he said behold I knock I stand at the door hallelujah stand at the door he didn't knock upon the door the knob is on your side it's up to you Lord I need more of you I need more of you are you here this morning I need more of you Lord in my heart I need more of you, Lord, to fight these battles. Amen. That just came with country. You know what God gave me this morning, and I'm going to sit down. Is there is a murderous, murderous, rebellious spirit in the land. Hallelujah. And he said, you know, rebellious, you know, people are rebellious. That causes murder. You're rebelling from one thing that might have happened to you or in, in your mind. So you want to get out, out of that. So what you do, do, you go try to murder somebody else. I'm not always talking about shooting with a gun or, or running over somebody. But I'm talking about with your mouth. If I can kill this spirit. The influence. That means busy bodies. We have to be careful. You said, I'm not a murderer. You just murdered somebody's reputation. And most time it's right in the house of God. A murderous, rebellious spirit. Come and get rid of that today. Come and get rid of that today. It's our elder porch is going to come now and pray. Praise the Lord. Just believe. Come now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Just touch and agree with me. Praise God. Even for the sister that's standing. If there's anybody else, come. Come now. Because tomorrow is not promised to any of us. But God is. Hey, glory. Come. Everybody needs prayer. We all need prayer. Just say, God, I touch and agree. And we're going to go into prayer. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll wait. One more. Come on. Come on now. Come on. We're going to touch and agree. Hallelujah. Just say, God, I touch and agree with you. What? He said, if we touch and agree, so shall it be done in heaven. So if you need something from God, you can't get it out here. But we can get it from the Lord thy God of Israel. Hallelujah, saints. Raise your hand. Hallelujah. God, I touch and agree. Praise God. Let's ask God to forgive us for our sins right now. Because we need something. We need something. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. We want to just say thank you, Lord Jesus. Just we want to say thank you. For our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, God. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Let's therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Oh, our precious Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you know our downsetting and our rising, God. In the name of Jesus, you know our thoughts are far off, God. In the name of Jesus, for God, you see our heart, God. In the name of Jesus, you promise God to take out the stones, God, and to give us a heart of flesh, creating us a clean heart, oh God, and to renew a right spirit within us, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, God, you said you know my name, God. In the name of Jesus, and you know the way I take, God. In the name of Jesus, so God, we ask you, God, to lead us, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, to the throne, God. Lord, we hold ourselves up, God. Anything you haven't planted, God. God, we ask you to root out and burn it up, God. For thou art a consuming fire, God. In the name of Jesus. So, God, we lift our hands to you, Heavenly Father. The one who's able to do it, God. In Jesus' name, God. We're the one, God. Whoever's to break every yoke, God. In the name of Jesus. To heal every sickness, God. If you just send your word, God. That you will heal us, God. In the name of Jesus. For your word shall not come back unto you void. But it will accomplish that which you have sent it to do, God. In the name of Jesus. God, move by your spirit right now. For you said it's not by might. And it's not by power. But it's by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. In the name of Jesus, and precious are the saints, God. In the name of Jesus, ever before you, God. In the name of Jesus, move by your Holy Spirit, God. Move by your Holy Spirit upon us, God. Penetrate these walls, God. Penetrate our hearts, God. Touch our minds, God. Touch our soul, God. That we will be completely yours, God. Whatever our need is, God. Whatever our petition is, God. That we give it, surrender it up to you, God. And take our hands off it, God. And work in us, God. In the name of Jesus, move by your Holy Spirit, God. Move by your Holy Spirit, God. In the name of Jesus. And bless God. Bless these people, God. Oh, God, no matter what it is, God. If it's financial problems, God. You said that you provide our needs uh, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Uh, God, we know, God, uh, you said you got a cattle on a thousand hills, God. Uh, and if you were hungry, God, uh, hey, hey, Lord, uh, oh, God, you wouldn't even tell us. Uh, so we want to say thank you, God. Uh, you're our father, God, uh, and we're your children, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you right now, God. Um, all things, God, um, we lay out to the altar of your feet, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, that it will become a sweet smell and aroma before you, Heavenly Father. And we just want to say thank you in, in the name of Jesus. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, give God some praise in the house. Give him some praise in the house. On bless the Lord for the word on this morning and the move of God on this morning. Don't let it stop here. Amen. Take it with you down throughout the week. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the unity of the spirit. I wish I could show you some of my notes. Amen. And she made some of the same points that the Lord was speaking to me about. So if you hear them over and over again, that means God wants you to get it. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. The word of God says God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. That means God spoke it plainly, but I heard it over and over and over again that what power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we bless God for the word on today. Thy kingdom come. 
Amen. And the kingdom of God is in meat or drink. I told you last week, but it's what? Righteousness, peace, and joy. I want his kingdom. Hallelujah. How about you? Amen. We praise God for all of you. Amen. Hey, on Dawn. Hey, Bella. Hallelujah. Praise God for my auntie. Amen. My auntie slash big sister. <laughs> Amen. And my little cousin, her granddaughter, that's Antoine's daughter, for those of you that don't know. Bella. Amen. Named after our Aunt Lynn, Croatia Bella Lynn, right? Yes. Amen. We praise God for her. Amen. Hey, Pastor Stewart. How you doing? Praise God. Come on up and greet the church real quick. Come, come Stand up and say something. Come on. My bishop won't forgive me if you don't. Amen. <laughs> Morris's church today. <laughs> so, oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and so I just felt led of God to be in the house today. Amen. In the yard today. So I praise God for Jesus. the word of God that came from mm -hmm. Co Pastor. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God for being here. I thank God for God's people. And I ask that you pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Give our greetings to Amen. Uh, my brother, your husband. Amen. Into the church. Amen. Praise God. We hope you can join us for the installation. Amen. On the 28th. Amen. Be praying for us. Amen. We thank God for each and every one that's in the house. Amen. That's Anastasia. That's your little brother, right? What's your name again? Karon. That's right. Amen. Praise God for you being with us today. Amen. Each and every. Brother Kendrick, good to see you, man. Amen. Praise God for you as well. We thank God for all of God's people. Amen. Those that are viewing on social media. Happy 18th birthday, Majestic Mike, Mighty Mike. Come on, give God praise for this remarkable young man. 18. Hallelujah. We praise God for Mike. Certainly, truly a remarkable young man. We praise God for Amen. Him being raised in a fear and admonition of the Lord in faith and victory. Amen. We praise God for all of you and all of the April birthdays. Amen. Again, we praise God for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. Is there anything else? Amen. That meets our attention. Amen. Come on, let's stand. Amen. Take this word with you. Take it with you. Take it with you. Down yes, throughout the week. Yes, sir. You go. Praise the Lord. Uh, on next Sunday, on next Sunday, will be probably the last time that I will be preach as pastor. So tell everybody, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get out here. God has a message Hallelujah. for the church. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And pray, praise the Lord. We thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And remember all of the announcements. Amen. If you can support Pastor Pryor. Amen. And uh, I know some are going to support our Minister Jameson. Amen. If you can, please do so. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Remember the meetings and remember Sunday school as well. Thank you, Lord. Uplifted hands now unto the King Eternal. Amen. Before we do that, thank God for our music ministry, our musicians. Thank God for our audio, visual, and technology team. Amen. We praise God for each and every one. Our admin team. Amen. Everyone in their respective place. It takes all of us. Amen. To keep the church going under the power of the Lord. Amen. So let's stay unified. Let's stay together working with one another. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be glory, majesty, dominion, honor, and power. Somebody say forever, forever, forever. Lift your voice and say amen, amen, amen. You are dismissed. Amen. There is a meeting after Sunday school or right now, church meeting. Amen.